nobody to represent them. And I explained to you that I am going to work on a program to have more people, to have jobs so that you have a bigger number to represent. And I took a long time to explain what we are going to do to create job opportunities so that we can have more workers, more people earning a decent wage. And that is the reason why I told you there are three things that I am going to do in my tenure. That number one, we will have a robust housing program not because we are looking for houses necessarily, but because housing creates millions of jobs. And I want to report to you, Secretary General and the leadership of the labor movement here, that in the last eight months, we have created 120,000 jobs from our housing plan. I will encourage you to go and recruit those people to be members of your movement. <laughs> Number two, we are also going to create more jobs around the digital space, the technology space. As I talk to you, Parliament today is passing the NGCDF bill that will create opportunity for ICT hubs in every ward in Kenya because we are seeking to create digital jobs in every village in Kenya. Again, so that we can have more members of this movement. And number three, I was having a conversation with the Director General and he was explaining to me how he found a conversation in Berlin about Kenya's engagement with the German government on bilateral labor agreement that will facilitate more Kenyans to work in Germany as we work on our bilateral labor agreements so that we can make the labor or migrant workers not a problem but a solution. So again, we are working in that space to increase the number of people, whether they are working locally, whether they are working in foreign, and whether they are working uh, in remote locations. The whole concept is to create more workers so that we, because Kenya is a country of workers. So that commitment I, I have made, and uh, as I told you, I have kept that commitment. We now have 120,000, and my plan is that by 2027, you will have half a million people working. That is the plan. I know the court have said we should go and readjust the law to make it aligned appropriately. That we are going to do so that the 120,000 people can become 200,000 and can become 500,000 in the next five years because if we don't engage these people in productive work, they will become a very big challenge to all of us. The young people out there, unless we create real opportunities. And you know, we used to talk about we are going to grow the economy and the economy is going to create jobs. It's now beyond that. We have to be deliberate. We have to be intentional about where we are going to create those jobs. Number two, 